Good morning everyone and welcome to A Natural Guide to Playing as SCP-049 in SCP Secret Lab. Not to be confused with How to Master 049 which is a short meme video. In this video we are going to analyze the strengths and weaknesses of SCP-049 and discovering what is the best playstyle for this SCP. Now the first thing you're probably wondering as you watch this video is why is it so short? My previous ones were 13 minutes long and 17 minutes long. Well you see, Play Doctor is very, how do I say this, normal. He doesn't really have any gimmicks compared to every other SCP. For example, for 096 you have to look at him, for 173 you can't look at him, for 939 you have to make noise, and for 106, well he can just walk through the walls and stuff. Once again, 049 the Plague Doctor is the most normal SCP in the game. Which is why this video is short because, well, he's really straightforward. He walks up to people, he left clicks, and he kills them. Don't get me wrong, I love Plague Doctor, I think he's great, but again, he's pretty just normal. And before we begin, I would like to say a storm hit my house pretty recently and I had to record everything all over again because it completely messed up my audio. <laughs> so now that the storm cleared out, I can record this again. So let's just hope it doesn't happen again, huh? <laughs> and hey, if you enjoyed the video or you like my content and you're not subscribed, go for it. It's a nice big old red button right there. Yep, just, just click on that. Perfect. You don't have to subscribe, but it'll be absolutely amazing if you did. And for those of you that are already subscribed, hey, thank you. Thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you! I'm very proud of you, good work, good job, good job. Alright, now let's get to the video. Starting off with the strengths, SCP-049 has two major strengths that I found and one that is technically a strength. SCP-049 has no gimmicks. He doesn't need a special event for him to trigger his abilities or his attacking power. Of course, the Play Doctor's ability to revive zombies is another one of his strengths. And a minor strength that depends on a server is his ability to talk to people. The reason that's a minor strength is because I'm pretty sure it's a plugin and not all servers have it. So starting off with gimmicks, 049 doesn't have any gimmicks like every other SCP in the game. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, every SCP has some kind of passive gimmick or ability that just goes with what they are. Again, 939 is blind, Peanut can't move when he's being looked at, and 96 attacks only when he's being looked at. And of course there's other stuff like Computer just being a completely different SCP, 106 being able to walk through walls and having damage resistance and all that good stuff. He is the ultimate normal guy. He has no gimmicks, no problems, and of course this could be seen as both a strength and a weakness, because not having anything special does of course make you weaker than other SCPs, but I put it as a strength because you gain more out of it than weaknesses. I mean, think about it, every single SCP's gimmick makes them slightly weaker, other than 106. If Dog, 96, and Peanut didn't have their special little gimmicks, they would be so powerful. So again, this could be seen as both a strength and a weakness, and you can argue about it, absolutely, but I put it in strengths because I feel like it fits more there, honestly. Another one of 049's strengths is his ability to resurrect zombies. Now, 049 can only resurrect zombies if he revives a freshly killed body. This means if 049 kills someone and instantly goes to the revive, or another SCP kills someone and he picks up the body right away. 049 does have a cooldown for killing people, but he does not have one when reviving zombies. Which means that you can revive while still attacking people as 049, which is a very useful ability. Now of course the strength of the zombies depends entirely on the player. Zombies only have 300 HP, which is the lowest health in the game, as well as only doing 40 damage when attacking a human. Which means that they can 3 shot any human in the game, other than the MTF Commander, which takes, I believe, 4-5 to five hits. Again, depending on who you revive, your zombies will be more effective or not. If you revive someone who doesn't want to play and doesn't care about the game, obviously that will be a huge waste of time and you really shouldn't go for the revive. However, if you revive someone who's really cool, really nice and chill, they'll be like, hey, I'm a zombie now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna help you guys out, I'm gonna help out the SCPs. It's always a great day when you see a whole bunch of zombies on a server, cause that just shows how dedicated those people are to playing the game, and it shows that even though players got killed in the game, they still want to work together with the SCPs that just killed them. But as I was saying, the revival of zombies is not a gimmick, it's more of an ability. 106 being able to walk through doors is a gimmick, but 106 teleporting is an ability. So Overnight's ability to revive zombies does not count as a gimmick, but is a very good ability. It's a lot better to kill a whole bunch of humans than killing one at a time and reviving them slowly, because a lot of them could get away while you're doing it. And the final minor strength is that he can talk to people. Like I said before, only some servers have this. On every server I play on, they have the plugin installed where you can talk as 049. Just like the dog, you could use the talking ability to convince people to open doors and stuff without them knowing who you are. Of course, this is extremely hard to do because of what we're going to go through in the weaknesses, 
but it still is a possibility. And in general, it's always fun to use voice chat as an SCP. So on some servers, you'll be able to talk to people and on others, you won't be able at all. And that's really why I labeled it as a minor strength because it's not really that big of a deal, but it is something that could possibly help you. So those are all the strengths that I can think of for SCP-049. And now we move on to weaknesses. The weaknesses of 049 are also very simple. He has little to no mobility, he has extremely low health, and he has very loud footsteps. Beginning with no mobility, 049 has, as stated, the least amount of mobility in the game. Plague Doctor and 106 are the slowest SCPs in the game, but considering that 106 can teleport anywhere on the map with portals, that technically makes 049 the slowest SCP in the game. There's nothing special about his movement, he walks at the same speed and has the same jump height no matter what you do. No matter how low or high your health is or how many kills you get, you will always have the same amount of mobility. And of course, you are very, very slow. The best way to counter this weakness is by not moving unless you really have to. For example, if you want to stay in heavy for the whole game, go for it. If you want to stay in light containment until it decontaminates, go for it. If you want to stay in entrance zone, sure. Surface? Okay, I don't know about that, but <laughs> anyway. In general, to counter the fact that he has no mobility, you should really try to stay in one section or one area. That way you don't have to worry about running around the whole time. Again, this doesn't mean you have to. Whenever MTF spawns in, it's always smart to go to entrance zone. That way you can kill all the MTF and so on and so on. But if possible, try to stay in one place so you can lock an area down instead of moving over all over the place because again it's very difficult to move around because of how slow you are. Another weakness of 049 is his extremely low health. The lowest health SCPs in the game are the Zombie, 106, and Plague Doctor. The zombie has the lowest health in game because he really is just a zombie. The zombie is just a revived minion, so it makes sense that he has the lowest health in the game. 106 has 650 health, but with his damage resistance, makes it seem like he has over 3000. Plague Doctor has 1700 HP. The closest HP number to 049 is 096. 096 has 1500 HP with a bonus of 350 armor, making it a total of 1850 HP, which 300 50 of it can be restored over time. So 049 has low health with absolutely no way of restoring it, and also has no damage resistance and no special abilities when his health gets lower. To counter your low health, like I said before, the best thing to do is not attack giant groups on your own. The best way to use your low health is by attacking only when necessary. There's no reason for you to waste your time charging against D-Class to keep running away from you. And the same can be said when attacking MTF. There's no reason chasing MTF with weapons that can shoot you the whole time while chasing them, as they will quickly deplete your health and make it very very hard to continue fighting. So again, the best way to counter your low health is just by using your time carefully. It's a shame that I don't have much else to talk about when it comes to his weakness of health, but like I said in the beginning, he's very basic and simple. There's really not much to go from. And a final minor weakness of his is his loud footsteps. His footsteps are very noticeable compared to every SCP in the game. Every SCP does have their own unique version of a footstep, but I feel like 049's is the loudest. I believe the loudest footsteps are 106 and 049, but in my opinion, I hear 049 footsteps a lot quicker than I hear 106. In this clip here, I wanted to test the range of 049 compared to how loud his footsteps are. So we put 049 at spawn and me standing at the end of the hallway to see how long it takes for me to hear 049. So just listen to the clip. As you can see in the clip, you hear 049 a lot quicker than you see him. But of course, that can be said with every SCP in the game. However, here's another test of 049's footsteps depending on how far away he is. As you saw in a clip, you can barely see 049 before you start hearing his footsteps. And I'm going to make this very clear, this is not a major weakness. This is not something that you should really play around as you can't, there's nothing you can do about your footsteps. And honestly, the only reason why I'm putting it here is so people don't ask me or talk about it in the comments. Because I know people are going to talk about his footsteps because he has one of the most unique footsteps in the game. Again, I don't think this is a weakness you have to worry about, there's nothing you can do about it anyways, but I'm just putting it here so people don't wonder about it in the comments. For 
a quick overview, he has no gimmicks, he doesn't need any special tricks to kill people, he can just walk up and kill them whenever he wants. He can revive zombies, which could be very useful depending on who you revive. And sometimes he can talk to people, depending on a server. Of course this is more used for fun and as a joke, but hey, it's something. His weaknesses is that he has pretty much no mobility whatsoever and is very slow. He has very low health with no way to regenerate or to take less damage. And finally, he has very loud footsteps, which again, technically is a thing, technically it's not, it's really just there for fun. Okay, and that is an actual guide on playing as SCP-049 in SCP Secret Lab. Like I said before, I know this video is very short compared to the other ones. There's really nothing I can do about it because 049 is a pretty simple character. Bottom line is, 049 isn't really that well, special compared to other SCPs. He's one of my favorite SCPs of all time. He's super cool. I love him. But in SCP Secret Lab, he's just, he's pretty straightforward, you know? He's pretty basic and normal. If you guys think I missed any major strength or weakness of 049, I would love to look at it, heart it, reply to it, because I'm honestly very interested in your thoughts. From what I see, this is all he's got. I don't think he's got much else to offer. And of course, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, an amazing night, and Thanksgiving is coming up soon. That's, that's pretty pog. <laughs> Thank you again, everyone. See you soon.